Well, I know Dasher, and I know Dancer, but I don't know that one. It's our time with Mr. Mayberry. Hey, let's get creative. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Mayberry. Today I'm going to show you how to draw deer. So let's get started. It's time to make some art. Before we start, let's do our paper exercise. Hold up your paper this direction and let's say together, portrait, landscape, portrait, landscape. Today I'd like you to have your paper the landscape way when we draw. Okay, today we're drawing a deer. Let's start off by making a rectangle in the middle of your paper. Don't want it to be too big, but you don't want it to be too small. We want it to be just right. And so that's about this size right here. Okay, and then we're going to add the legs. These are the front legs, kind of like a tall V or tall W. You put both of them together. Same thing in the back. Okay, on this back leg here we're going to make a curve because it, it's a little bit different than the front leg. Okay, on the tail, next we're going to make the tail. It's like a triangle. And it's interesting to watch deer as they're running. They use their tail to keep themselves balanced. So they kind of flip it around and that helps them just keep from falling. Next I want to make the neck. I'm going to come up here with a straight line and then make the head coming off of the neck kind of rounded at the nose and then back here I want to make a line that slants back to the body okay in fact on the nose I want to make a curve here and then darken that in let's put the ears out to the side, kind of like a leaf or a football. And from this angle we just see one eye, so I'm going to put a one eye, one eye right here. This is a buck, a boy deer, so I'm going to make antlers. If you wanted it to be a doe, then just leave the antlers off. And Okay, so there's the antlers. Okay, let's go back and we'll clean up our drawing of what we have so far. I'm going to race where the neck and the body connect. I want to race where the tail connects to the body. Then I want to connect where, not this first one, erase where the leg and the body connect, not the first one, but the second one. The first one's on the other side of the body, so we don't see all of it. I'm going to go ahead and draw this part darker. Okay, and the same thing with the back leg. We're going to race inside the second one. The first one's on the other side of the body, so we don't see all of it. We just see what's sticking out from below. I'll darken that all because that's the way I want it over my lines again here. I need to darken in the hooves so at the bottom of the legs here where the feet are, the hooves go there. Okay, you can clean up any stray lines, darken any lines that are light. And then we want to make it look like our deer is standing somewhere, not just floating in space. So I'm going to draw the horizon line. And this is the line where the sky and the earth meet. So now he looks like he's standing on the ground. You could finish this picture by coloring in your deer. You could also draw things in the background and foreground and out here in the middle. So draw things all around him or trees or wherever the deer's at. Uh, take your time and uh, color nicely. Don't take a nice drawing and then mess it up with uh, sloppy coloring. So take your time and do a nice job finishing this off. And this is our project for today, a deer. If you like this project, just click on the thumbs up button below. Thanks for coming to art class, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, Mr. Mayberry.
Mr. Mayberry. Prancer, Vixen, Comet. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to see some ID.